Welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to talk about the short-term rental, the vacation rental business and the impacts that the new government and the laws and the implication could happen within your business. The Labour government are going to destroy landlords. Landlords are nervous. Mm. You have to be a landlord. You have no choice. Fixing the UK's housing crisis is going to take some serious government action. So later on in the video, I'm going to give you some suggestions. A lot of rent to rent clients, a lot of service accommodation purchase clients. They're looking into what's next for the business. Obviously, a lot of time we're thinking about is it going to affect you? Is it going to impact you or is it going to help you grow your service accommodation business? So look, if you're an investor on buying property to let it out as a service accommodation, if you're looking to rent a property out and actually relet it, there's some new laws that's going to impact you heavily. So later on, on the video I'm going to give you some suggestions on what you can do but let's go right into the video. So what's happening? So you may have heard in the news that Labour government is proposing new some very big changes to the property market and to make tougher for short-term rental and rental businesses in general. Now please don't worry I think there's certain things that obviously with every problems there's always a solution and today there's three things I really want to talk about which is going to impact you directly especially your if you're investing in property so let's go through the first one which is truly everyone's talking about it the mortgage so the first one as usual being mortgage relief or tax relief on mortgages might be gone soon which effectively as you probably know and the news the challenges we've seen around the the UK market is it's been amazing before that a couple of years ago where you offset your mortgage as an expenses right so effectively you're expensing that and then you've got the revenue coming in let's say for example a thousand pound rent and then the the mortgage would be let's say 300 pound then you've got you can offset that 300 pound mortgage because that's your expenses on the actual investment of your property however now you might not be able to do that which effectively what does that mean to you is that you will now have to basically declare the revenue being a total of thousand pound if that was an example of the the rental income that you're getting so from a perspective of short-term rental the solution I want to talk about is is there a way that obviously this is more of a tax advice that you've got to speak to your accountant for but there might be an option to see how you can do the same strategy on a service accommodation where you're purchasing property turning into a short-term rental property and then actually offsetting the mortgages if there is a requirement through different techniques but something that obviously you've got to think about and something that you've got to speak to your accountant with it's, it's a common knowledge a lot of big companies at the moment are utilizing the same strategies this time they're buying proxies through limited companies and then being able to do the same exact strategy but in this case the company is buying the asset but you also have the expenses as being the mortgage so effectively this could work in your favor again something that you've got to speak to your accountant but when you are or if you are thinking about your next investment strategy and you're thinking okay how do I go and buy this investment property in North Wales you know pretty cheap 120 130 grand you're probably going to spend a couple of thousand on getting that renovated but at least you know that if you're buying through a limited company and then turn it into a short-term rental property you have a great opportunity to make sure that you you know you, you're obviously not tax liable for all the expenses that you're going to have through mortgages so another great strategy something that you might have to take further look into and also in my channel we'll be making some more videos around it the second Second thing is no more section 21 evictions now I think Labour Party has obviously wanted to get rid of section 21 but I'm looking at further how how this is going to impact landlords because eventually what's going to happen is you know if you're trying to re reprocess the property you're you're you know you're telling the tenant to say look you, you need the property back there's there's going to be a tougher ways and obviously more difficulty for you as a landlord you probably have to get solicitor involved you've got to do a lot lot more work and also a lot of time and energy being basically wasted to get 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 your property back and um, which eventually again you know going back to having you know no more section 21 I, I personally think again it could be a big challenges for landlord but also what is the solution so let's talk about this because again I'm I'm constantly thinking well there's a problem what are the strategies can we take to overcome that problem so let's go through the solutions now so one way to avoid that is you know I've been 
heavily like for example th today I'm, I'm sat in this studio and I'm constantly thinking now is commercial renting still an opportunity versus residential you know renting because like for example this commercial renting that we are in at the moment is a massive massive place in a shopping center and you know the company that we're currently doing the podcast in Foundry they've taken a massive part of the commercial but obviously at this moment of time on a lease which is effectively like an Airbnb business and then they've made it you know they've furnished it they've done this like a podcast studio they've done so many amazing things around you know like you can have a little office co-working meeting rooms boardrooms like coffee places kitchens showers and it, like it just turns around to become such a great place for entrepreneurs and business people to come back and work with and eventually if you think from a commercial renting as much as the retail which is what is currently dead right you know I was talking to my family about this the the Amazon market it's it's crazy what Amazon can do my mum will call me and say oh we don't have this in the house and I'm like oh well I can actually just go on Amazon and I'll get delivered by there by one o'clock and the retail market's been hit hard but to replace the retail market into different commercial strategy there's always going to be something there so again a lot of people get afraid of the second strategy or looking into different thing but in hindsight that could lead you to get more business like for the person that who owns this at the moment obviously they're probably renting this out to rent out as a co-working space but actually in hindsight they're, they're very much not worried about owning property they're definitely allowing themselves to cr create this commercial strategy that works really well for them so remember guys with every problem is a solution and lastly the lifetime tenancies and rent control now you know finally labor is considering to introduce the lifetime tenancies and rent controls i mean this could limit how often and how much rent to review you know a landlord can potentially do and this really starts making me think about the the world we are in at the moment you know there's people talking about oh is it going to be a renter world is you know is buying going to be slowly phased out and you know people are going to be a lot happier renting out properties and not really worried about buying properties also on the other hand does that mean that it makes people move around different part of the world because they're not liable to be in one places anymore like you know 50 years ago probably going in a plane and moving in around different countries wasn't a normal thing to do whereas now you know if you're on social media you see people going on holidays every other week every two weeks and you know in, in, we're talking about the online entrepreneur uh, entrepreneur space so look what can you do i think that's probably again my question what can you do to start thinking differently so again commercial property i i truly believe might be the answer for now because the more i look into different opportunity around what what you can do with commercial again not talking about just the retail market there's a lot more other things you can do again you know sitting down creating those strategy like you would with a normal like residential well a buy to let property right when you buy a property you're thinking do i leave it with a single let family do i leave it with a hmo and you know let it out by room by room or do i let it out as a service accommodation and do this so there's always going to be option around and especially i think if you look further into it the commercial purchasing is a lot can be a lot easier than the residential at the end of the day again something that you've got to speak to your advisor your mortgage advisor your consultant about but why should you care i think i guess my next question for everyone there's three things i've, I've spoken about today you know why should we care about what's happening and how is it going to help us really understand the future about you know the uk market the labor actually putting a new strategies in place for the country so listen if you're hopefully a short-term rental provider or if you're a landlord look there's different impacts to different people like obviously for you as a landlord if you're watching this you're going to have a lot more option now of you know working with people like service accommodation rent to rent clients a lot of landlords a couple of years ago used to say i don't want to give it to somebody who wants to run as an airbnb but actually in hindsight the airbnb person needs to make their revenue needs to make money and is probably going to be a safer bet for you than a normal tenancy person and you know this is where i think there's benefit to both parties uh, the more you sit down and look at all the issues that's going to come above you've got to sit down and come with a solution so without further ado guys let's go to what i want to talk about today in terms of uplisting being a platform that supports service accommodation owners really i'm wanting to tell you about how amazing this tool is especially 
actually because we work with a lot of operators who use Uplisting as a channel manager into their business. Uplisting is an amazing property management software. It will help you automate your guest communication, helps you set up minimum night stay, your pricing. And really the whole point of about having a channel manager is you then have a software that does the work for you. The work that you're probably gonna do it manually. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description with some referral codes as well as go and book a demo call with them, especially if you're looking to get into service accommodation, Airbnb or vacation rental business. And two final thoughts and end this video. My question, look, if you've watched this video so far, what are your thoughts about what we've spoken today? Also purchasing property, are you, you know, there's enough people I know who's already purchasing property on limited company and it's an ongoing strategy that's been out there for a while. Obviously there's different mortgage implication and how, how it's gonna work. Is it time for you to look into commercial investments, commercial property investment, and what would you do with it? Like it is a playground, it, it's been untouched at the moment. Obviously I've seen certain things happening in the last few years with commercial properties and retail properties, but I would love you to think about what you would do and how you would actually turn that commercial renting into a higher cash flow opportunity. So before I wrap up this video, look, if you're getting into service accommodation business, now I have done a free service accommodation course that really is to just talk about what's gonna happen this year in 2024. I try and do those kind of video once a year because every year I learn something, I come back and go, actually it was completely different to what I did the year before. And it eventually it, it come, I see the progression of us as a business, as Grow BNB, but also the progression of my clients from what they used to do in you know 2019, 2020, 21, 22, and 24 now, and you know hopefully 25. So if you would like to sign up to our free course, just to talk about you know how the industry is going, the how the models changing from management, co-hosting to rent to rent, to investing, purchasing, buying blocks of flat into shop. We've seen everything within the industry. We I have personally worked and spoken to every single strategy clients, and I can really share you those stories coming into that course. It is down on the link below. Please make sure you go and sign up. But for now, thank you so much for watching another Grow BNB video. I've been very excited to share this, especially because it's just the new legislation that's gonna come in. Obviously, we wanna protect ourselves, but there's not enough people talking about the short-term rental game, you know, the new laws and the new changes come together. But guys, look, please come back and watch more videos in our channel. I am uploading every single week just to make sure you guys learn from this and make sure you hit that like, subscribe and share and I'll be back with another video soon.